Hey guys, so quick announcement before we start this video. Um, it's more of a, a call to arms, really, if you would. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys know this, but my girlfriend is also a Let's Player here on YouTube. Some of you might know her. Her YouTube name is Chelsea91. YouTube.com slash, I'll put the thing up. It'll be right there in front of you and also in the description, so you can go there. Uh, yeah. She is my girlfriend and a Let's Player here on YouTube. She's been on YouTube even longer than I have, which is crazy, because it's been like five years since I started this. Um, and recently, she has fallen upon some hard times. YouTube, being the butt of a website that it is, decided to randomly close her account for no reason, even though she didn't do anything wrong and didn't close it herself. And uh, though she was able to recover her account and all of her videos, she lost all of her subscribers. So, I thought I would just give her some support, help her out here, uh, link her channel, I'll put it, put it back up! There it is again! <laughs> um, and if you guys could go over there, uh, if you knew her before and didn't realize that she got, that you uh, got unsubbed from her, like if you already were subscribed, I would definitely go back and do that again, and if you didn't know about her, now is your chance to check her out. Uh, she ha she's like all of us, <laughs> like every Let's Player. Um, is very busy and hasn't put up a video in, in too long, but uh, she will be making a comeback soon, and maybe, possibly, I'll be making an appearance on that channel too. So if any of that interests you, or if you just want to support an awesome gal, um, check her out. Chelsea91, third time! Put it up on the screen! Go give her some support. Fight the power of YouTube, and help out uh, your favorite LPers, because we need the support. So yeah, go do that. Um, I guess I will end this now, and meet you wherever we're starting this time. Hey guys, this is Snack Attack 8, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Blind. This is part 88, and it has been a while. It's been a while! <laughs> I think that's a song by, uh by the band Stained from the early 2000s. So, uh, that's a topical reference. What the hell was that? That came buzzing past here like a powerhouse! Yeah, I realized that this was here uh, while I was flying around in this area. I guess this is like the impact crater. It says that every time you try to touch it, which is upsetting because I like to touch things, generally. But, yeah, I noticed this. And I guess this is where Sephiroth is, which is pretty wild. I didn't know this was here. I guess we can't go in. I don't know what came buzzing past as like a powerhouse, maybe like a blast from the weapon or something. But yeah, interesting. Uh, we might need to come back here eventually to this point, so I'll keep that in mind. That way I won't have to aimlessly wander and search for it later. So yeah, it, <laughs> like I sung before, <laughs> it has been a while. And in this episode, I think like I, I hinted at in the last one, we're gonna do something that I've been wanting to do for a little while, and we're gonna explore the rest of the icicle area after the snow slope thing, because we didn't get to see all of what was there last time. We, we hit some of it, but not all of it, and I wanted to check that out. Before that, though, we're gonna hit up the Chocobo Sage's house, because he always got updates going on. He's always coming up with something new. Unlike uh, yours truly, <laughs> he always has new things to say. What can I do for you? Uh, sell me something. Does he sell things? Is it like greens? We probably are, yeah, alright. Nuts. Pram nut! <laughs> Reagan greens? I guess those are the kind that, uh... Uh, Ronald Reagan. He was a president in the 80s. He, he was a Republican. <laughs> I'm going even further back in time with my, with my oh-so-topical references. Um, alright, so what do you remember? Chocobo was. It was bred from a great chocobo and a good chocobo. When they're given care of nuts while breeding, there ch there's a chance you'll get one of these chocobos. Okay. Where's this chocobo? Where can I get some of the care of nuts? Where? Where was that? I bet he doesn't remember. What? Was that nut? Can't remember for the life of me. Alright. Well, thank you again for your helpful advice. So I guess maybe you get green chocobos from breeding good and great and didn't he say this was called like a mountain chocobo or something? I can't remember. I wish there was some like 
do, do you have like a compendium of knowledge? No, you don't. I wish I could remember like what this guy has said. I think, well, wait. Maybe, I, feel, I thought there was some way to do it. I don't know, whatever. I'm not gonna get into chocobo breeding yet. Uh, <laughs> I still am not entirely sure how it works. I bet I could figure it out if I just dove right in and like, and did, did some of it. Because I'm pretty sure we can do it at the ranch now, can't we? Maybe? Can I not land here? Oh, I can only land on grass. Well, there's grass over here, right? Yeah. Right, we'll park the car and walk a little bit of a ways. It'll be fine. Good for your legs and good for your heart. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I could probably figure out breeding a little bit by doing it now. But apparently there's just, like, you can go so in-depth. And a lot of people say it, it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Yeah, so last time we were on the Gelnica, the sunken Gelnica, or as someone pointed out, it might be a reference to the Gernica, which is a painting, I believe it's by Pablo Picasso. Don't hold me on that, I don't know my art that well, but I'm pretty sure that's that's who painted that. <laughs> someone said it might be a reference to that, it's, it'd be a weird name to name a, a flying airship, but who knows, maybe. But yeah, last time we were doing that, and... Uh, that was cool. Apparently I missed an item there, or a treasure chest that was like way hidden, and I do want to go back and get that. I, I didn't do it in this video. I'm pretty sure the Gelnik is not going anywhere, and I'll be able to go back to it eventually, but yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't want to bother with the scary monsters in there. We had a hard enough time there last time. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll do that some other time if, if the item turns out to really be something I want. Because I can't remember if anyone told me what it was. Oh, great, I missed the first balloon. This is not easy. This is hard. <laughs> I was like, yeah, snowboarding at the beginning of it last time I played this. And then by the end I was like, snowboarding. Like, it is cool. It's just, it's not easy. Got two balloons and we already missed like three. Yeah, we were getting our butt kicked on that Gelnica and I have made some arrangements. As you could have seen when we were battling, I was using the same party, but uh, I, I worked our guys a little bit differently. Especially Sid, and we'll probably see that a little bit in this next area. I don't think the enemies here will prove to be too tough of a challenge, considering uh, it was quite a ways back that we were in this area, but we'll, we'll show it off. I feel pretty dumb for like the way I had Sid set up too, because it was, it was just bad in general. I think I got a better setup on him now. Yeah. Oh gosh. I, I wanted to show this because I know there's branching paths on this thing, and I looked up the path we took left last time. I'm pretty sure. Oh great! I think <laughs> I don't know. I think we went right and then left. So this time I'm gonna try to go left and then right. We'll see how that works out for us. So that's why I'm gonna leave this this uh, snowboard voyage in, even though we've kind of already seen this. Because if there's different like settings and different ways to go. I want to show that, or I want to show my experience of that. Right, there's like, yeah, okay. Ooh! I didn't get any of them! Oh my god. Can I get this blue? Yeah, okay, we got a blue at least. I feel like these balloons have to be here for something. How do I get that? <laughs> how, like, how? They have to be here for something, right? Is I, I don't, like, I wonder if there's a high score or something that you need to get playing this game. If there is, I'm probably never gonna get it. Hopefully there's not like an ultimate weapon or like a really powerful summon or something to be gained from doing these uh, snowboard mission balloon collecting things because I'm certainly not gonna get it playing like that. I don't even know how to get those greens. Can I? Is there a way to turn quick in midair? I don't even know. But whatever. We'll just keep rolling with it. Go fast. <laughs> Knock a tree down. You know how it is. I think we're getting up to the first turn soon. I did look over this briefly. Yeah. So yeah, I've uh, been gone. <laughs> I guess I can talk about that. Well, I guess you guys know what where I was. I explained some of it in a video. Um, yeah. I all basically what happened was I did my my travels after my travels from Europe ended. I just kept on going, <laughs> and I made some other uh, in in United States visits to some places. And in between those visits, that was like the past two weeks have pretty much been ruled by me driving and uh, getting ready to drive. <laughs> so, so that's sort of where I've been. Oh no, we, we did go this way, didn't we? 
Hopefully I didn't go the exact same route as I as I did before. I thought I was right. I could have sworn. Maybe I was just wrong. Maybe I was delusional. I was too hyped up on the idea of playing this game again. And I got I got thrown off. I got I got I got all left is right, right is left. Ah, I wanted to go right. Cuz I'm didn't we go did we go this literally exact same way? So like we might have. It looks familiar. Oh, we we totally did. Man, that sucks. Oh well, maybe someday I'll be able to go down the other paths here. I would like to see what they are. Maybe there's a way to get more score. Though it seems like the balloons were only on the first part. I don't know. But yeah, so so I've been traveling, I've been busy and stuff. Some people asked how my trip to uh, Europe went. And I won't go into super huge detail about that, because there was so much. <laughs> but it was an amazing time. I loved it. And... I got to see some awesome places. I got to get way outside of my bubble, which is I think is always a good thing. Um, some like I, I think I would just give advice to everyone that if you are at some point in your life ever able to go outside of the country or even just go somewhere that you're an outsider where like you don't know things, I would absolutely recommend that because it's an awesome experience. Especially if you go with a fun group of people, like good friends or people who like I don't know. The people, because the people I went with, I didn't know them at all, but we became like a family by the end of the trip, and it was awesome. It was a great time. I would recommend anybody do that. Where are we? How do we, how do we do anything again? It sucks, cause now, now I'm in the same place that I was last time, aren't I? Is this? This is that tree, right? Square is the map, I guess. So. Maybe we'll go down. I think last time we went left. So, he like, here's what I know what we've done in this area. I know we've been in the middle of that forest area right there with the Y. Because that's where we started right now. I know we've done that. I know we've seen that, uh, that, that cave in the lake thing. I don't think we've been down to that, though, have we? I know we've been to that tree, and we've been around that loop, and we've gone across the wooden bridge thing, and we've seen that thing over to the left, and we've seen the face, and up at the top is the mountain. There's like a snow field over there too, but we haven't really seen what's in the lower south and like southeast portions of this map, and that's what I want to try to explore. Because there's got to be more stuff, right? I'm sure there's goodies here. Hopefully the goodies are worthwhile and not just stuff that like would have been good for us. Back in the day? Oops, that was the wrong thing to do. I wanted to go that way. But yeah. So I guess that's what's going on here. I might try to like cut some of this stuff out. Because I feel like there's a lot of walking and getting lost in this area. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Alright, well we can tear through these guys. Basically what I've done with Sid is I gave him the Zedric that we picked up in the last episode. And so that that gate that completely tore his materia in half. But I'm like, he's a physical attacker, and people are saying, make him a physical attacker if that's what you're gonna use him as. So that's what I did. So his defenses have gotten buffed and stuff. I took some of his, the magic materia off him that I didn't need, so he's got those back. Or like he 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 isn't really reduced in those stats anymore, like his HP and the stuff that would be important for his attack. Um, and then I, I just kept him with double cut, and I gave him the fire elemental one, because he had ice before, but I knew we were coming to this icy area, so I figured fire would be the best bet. Other than that, I'm pretty sure everyone is exactly the same. I didn't realize Restore leveled up, and we have Cure 3 now. Or if I did realize that in a video, I forgot it, because that came as a surprise to me when I uh, booted the game up and sort of refreshed myself before doing this. But I guess we have that now. I also gave Revive to Cloud, because... Before, I was like, eh, Revive's not that great, we have Phoenix Downs. Oh, this is new. Isn't it? Ice Gate. I'm guessing this is... This has got to be that little signpost down there. And it looks like... There's nothing left on the map, but there's a road here. So does this lead me out to a new area? Does this, Or does this just, like, take me back? I don't know. People told me that Revive was worthwhile, and after a couple, like... Is this, isn't this right where Icicle is? Yeah, it is. Okay. So I guess, is this a way to walk back up to the town? 
I guess it is. Okay, yeah, because you wouldn't be able to get back to the town any other way than going through the mountain and doing all that again. And I don't think we can even do that anymore, because the mountain eventually ends up being where shit hit the fan and the, that crater is now. So I guess if you want to, like, continue to ride down the slopes, maybe this is how you do that relatively quickly. I don't know if it would be worth investing in that more, if there's anything to be gained from the snowboard thing. I think we're just going to go back into the ice realm now, though. And we're going to run from these wolves. Yeah, Re Revive has definitely been seeming to be more useful, so I'm, I'm going to level it up. I'm gonna put some AP into it, and I got it sitting on cloud right now. Other than that, the party's pretty much the same. I think I like to change it up eventually, but right now we're just rolling with this. Sid doesn't even have his first level 2 limit yet, that's another thing. I think I might do some limit grinding... soon? <laughs> the next time a big event happens or something, like after that, maybe I'll, I'll try to get some more limits. Because I think at this rate we're not gonna get them all by the end of the game. Most people are just on level 2. I think only... Does Cloud have his level 3 one yet? I think he does. Doesn't he? Have we seen it? We haven't seen it. That'd be something that would be cool to use. I don't think we've seen you guys either. Shred? I give a shred of care about you. Because you're so weak. <laughs> 5,000 damage on that hit. <laughs> That's a little silly. No, these guys... We, you can't fault these guys because they have... Uh, we have been away from them for some time. They were strong at one point. I remember I had some a little bit of trouble with this area. I saw that that materia, that all materia leveled up. I think we have one that. Let's see. There, most of them are four, but I think we have some that are three. Yeah, we'll put this one on her. She's not gonna need to use cure magic that many times here anyway, so we might as well just give her that. All right. So where is this? This is... I'm, I guess this is that cave down to the to the bottom right. Isn't it? Where's the... Oh, there's the cave. Alright, so we'll go in here. What could be in the cave? Is there crystals? Crystally crystals? There's nothing over here, I guess. Enemies. I'm assuming they'll be the same ones we've been fighting. Yep, more wolves. What are these things called? Bandersnatches, that's right. I remember I was like, what's a bandersnatch? And then it was a Lewis Carroll thing. So just getting a little kill there. <laughs> I suppose we could, like, go for kills on these things. Actually, you know what? We'll fight them. Because why not? We already took out two. And getting kills is not that... Not nearly a bad thing. For our dudes. It's always a little bit good. We're probably not going to get super huge amounts of experience, but... Again, just taking out enemies is good. It gets us AP, it gets us gill. If it's fast, I'll do it. Alright, so crystal caves. Seems like there's like one way to go. I don't know, is there anything over here? This is a cool looking area. Kind of reminds me of that like wall that we had to climb on the way to, uh, to the icicle area in the first place. Like right after the City of the Ancients stuff. Uh, looks like trouble. We're out of here. Whoa, wait, what happened? Cloud! <laughs> where, where are you going, dude? What did I What did I do? What did I choose? Is this the right way to go? Can I control him or anything? We just got splunked out, kinda. Alright, so where did, what did that do? We're back out here. Is this the same place? Is this where back where Icicle is? It is. Alright, so what was the point of going in that cave? There was nothing in there? What if I'd pick the other option? I don't know. I think <laughs> I guess I'm probably gonna off screen to to being back in that general area. <laughs> and I'll I guess I'll meet you back there. Alright, so I, I've, I've assessed the cave, and there really seems to not be anything in there but a, but a wild ride. So, I guess we'll check more places. I guess to the left will take us back to that lake, which I'm pretty sure we've already been to. I would like to go back there and check and see if I can get in that thing in the middle, because I'm pretty sure we couldn't get there before. 
For some reason, I want to say we, we, we didn't do that. But we'll go to the right. There's like a mountain or something up here, I believe. That seems like it'd be fun to check out. I don't know. There's got to be something here, right? <laughs> Hopefully I'm not wasting my time with this pointless episode. There's other stuff that I wanted to do. Not too much side quest stuff. I think, like... I did ask people what they sort of wanted me to do in, uh, as far as, like, quests, things that people tell me, stuff that relates to the plot, and stuff that doesn't, that kind of stuff. And it seems like the general consensus was that I should just kind of play it how I want. <laughs> and that means maybe, maybe sometimes I'll do... Ooh. We got things. Magic plus leveled up, hyper jump was gained. I gotta be Sid's level 2, right? Limits. Yes. Alright, so we'll first we'll set that, and now uh, we'll check what that is. Attacks all opponents, sometimes dealing death. Ooh, that sounds somewhat useful. Pretty good. You can't kill, or you can't death bosses or anything, but I guess strong normal enemies might be useful on them. This looks like a path up a mountain or up a slope. Yeah, I don't know. I think people said generally just, like, play it how you want. Which which I guess is what I already knew, but whatever. I don't know. Sometimes I just get up in my head about that kind of stuff. But we're, we're doing that now. We're playing it how I want to. What I want to do is explore this area, even though there might not be too much here. No one really told me there was too much here, I don't think. But whatever. I wanted to see it for myself. I wanted to see the world. I got inspired on my trip, and I wanted to see... All of the world that exists in the real life, and all of the world that exists in Final Fantasy VII. That's what we're doing now. Nah, we're not gonna fight you. We already got our limit. We don't need it. Though, I would like to get the gauge built up. I don't think that's gonna happen, considering how how weak these guys are, and how little that attack did to Sid's limit gauge. But I would like to see it before I swap him back out, because it's new. And Cloud, alright, Cloud did get his, didn't he? That's what I wanted to check. Yeah, he did. Meteor Rain. Do we have that equipped? Yeah, limit level 3. Okay. Good, good, good. This is a long way off into the background. Where... Where am I meant to go? This is an exit. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Was it just off to the side or something? Seems a little misleading. Whatevs. We'll keep climbing. Keep going. Keep running up that mountain at full strides. Don't let the snow snow slow. Don't the <laughs> Whoa! Don't let the snow slow you down. I'm thinking this has got to be the summit, right? Ooh! Oh, there's like a little hot spring. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Are we gonna touch it? Is it hot? Hot spring. Oh yeah, well, totally I'm going in. Are there macaques? Macaques here? The monkey with the, uh, very, uh, giggly name. Can I not go in? I wanted to go in. Maybe if I go off the screen and come back, I can go in it. Oh, go back. I love hot springs. I've never been in one. I just love, like, the idea of them. <laughs> What? We can't go in? Why not? Did we get punished for being not brave enough? I wanted to go in the hot spring. Can we really not do it? Wait, what is... Is there anything over here? That's lame. Did I make the wrong decision? Was this like a pivotal decision whether to check if the water was hot or to jump right in? Man, can't get in it. All right, well, uh, that's fun. That doesn't look like that area, though. What are those spires on the top? Maybe there's something. I'm assuming we came up the path, like, to the south. So what is this path over here? Because this is something different, yeah? Where will this take us? I'm surprised we're not tumbling down this mountain. <laughs> because we're tearing pretty fast down it. Is this just gonna loop us back around? I'm 
I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it will. <laughs> Can I really not go in the hot spring? That's such a bummer. I hate that. I want to go back, because there was another path up the mountain. Man! Alright, so we're up, up at the other part now. I guess I really can't go in them. In the hot springs. That sucks! <laughs> that sucks, and random battles also suck. At times when you just don't particularly want them. What?! We're here now. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> what is this place? Is there nothing up here? I want to go back. I want to go back down. W did we ma somehow make it into like the ice field? Because this is that. I don't know how to do this. Or maybe we just collapsed because we were in the area for too long. Like, what, what, it, where am I going here? There's nothing. Oh, there are new enemies, though. Cold Snap. It's like a little robot. Nice going. Okay. Is that not an E-skill? It would, a Tifa would have got it, I guess, if it was. Probably aren't too hard. That should probably take him out. Oh, it didn't. Maybe these guys are a little tougher. They're like little Gundams. They're kind of cute. I like them. I wish one would come with us or something. We'll take it as a pet. Maybe we'll steal. That guy. Let's see if there's anything we can nick. Uh, I'll try it one more time. Does Cloud have any skills? No. Tifa's got pretty much all the ones we can That is actually. Oh, no, it didn't take it. Try stealing again. And if you don't get anything, whatever. I potion, so that's not that great. That's kinda cool though. Cute little robot guy. <laughs> Ice golem out in the out in the drifts. The tundra. Destruct leveled up. That's great. I realized or er, uh, someone told me actually that Ultima my Ultima materia leveled up in the last episode. Right, well I guess we're out of here. Where did it put us? We put us back here! Oh, how do I get back? I don't wanna go up the mountain again. Hot damn you guys, I actually found something. I found something new. There's a little cave here in the ice, in this ice barren snow field. Ooh, what is this? This is like, oh, materia. Okay, so when all materia was here. All right, I mean, that's like not the best thing. Cause we have a million billion of those, but it, it's something. <laughs> this has literally been, guys, this has been the most frustrating area. And I think most frustrating time I think I've had playing this game so far. <laughs> I finally figured out how to navigate this ice field. We'll see if it'll do it. Um, I think I want to go over here to the right, because I'm pretty sure this will take me to a new area that I haven't been yet that I saw on the map. Um, I didn't realize it shifts you, and you have to use these little markers that you can set down with X. Oh, did I made it somewhere. Okay, maybe this is the way. You have to use those little markers that you set down with X to keep your bearings, to like see where you're going when it shifts. So that's what I didn't understand before. And so I, I did. I was doing some exploring out in there because I was like, this is a huge barren area, why would they not put something here? And I found that little cave, I guess. I guess that cave was like right in the middle because I came out of this the stone face area and I just went directly to the right because I was trying to make it over here because I feel, or I think there's a, there's like a bridge-ish type area over here that I haven't seen yet, I believe. We'll do it. The other irritating thing about this area is that you pass out after some time, and then you, you're just, you're done. <laughs> you have to go back, oh wait, what's this? I don't, where is this on the map? This is new, right? Is this it? Is this the, uh, it doesn't look like that little bridge thing down below the river to the left, to the northeast or northwest of the mountain. That's not what this looks like, but I definitely haven't seen this yet. 
Oh, there's another little cave. Alright, where is this? Is this... Maybe this is that, and I just am not seeing it. Huh. Well, we'll go into the cave, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> like, I... N Ooh, wait, hold on. What are you? Blue? Blue thing? You! What? You got a lot of nerve trying to touch me with the same dirty hands that touched that filthy hot spring. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, so does that mean we did something wrong? I'll never forgive you. Oh, snap. <laughs> We're fighting the person. This isn't like a... Oh, it's just... Oh, it's one of you. I've fought you before. This isn't like a boss battle or anything. I guess we're just fighting. Well, you know what? I'm irritated. And I, I've been having a rough time navigating this area, so we're going to Meteor Rain you. See what this looks like. Just swing the sword. Whoa! <laughs> that was crazy. Alright. Well, we killed a, a ice lady who was hanging out. There's got to be something you get from that. Why this? Oh, what? Okay, there's a summon! Received Alexander. Alexander. <laughs> okay. Well, like, I just went th from, like, not finding anything for, like, 30 straight minutes it took. Which is why I don't think I'm gonna show any of that, any of that footage of me just wandering and trying to figure out... Ooh, holy. Oh, that could be useful. If we ever find any, like, undead enemies or anything. Huh. That's interesting. What is that? It's not as good as Bahamut Zero. But I might just stick that on Cloud just to see what it's like. Maybe we'll use it next time. I don't know. We've seen Bahamut Zero, so why not? Huh. Okay. So, yeah, literally I went from, like, not finding anything for, like, 30 minutes. Just wandering, trying to figure out how to do the snow route, like, the, the snow field area thing and failing. What are... are we already we fought this guy already. We fought all these enemies before. I think I've seen literally everything there is to see here. The only thing I believe we haven't done yet is I don't think we've gone through that that path by the mountain, and we haven't been to the ice cave thing in the middle. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I don't know how long this episode's gone because I cut a million things out, or I'm going to cut a million things out, but we'll just see. Maybe this will take me, considering I just I have no idea where I am right now. <laughs> Will this take me back to the ice fields? Will it take me down to that little pass thing that I want to get to? If it doesn't, I probably will just try to skip there till I find it. So, alright, this is here. So I would think I would want to go, like, this one up here, to the north, right? Because the one from the south is comes up. I'm at that little, I, I guess I'm at that little pass right at the top of the mountain where those three paths connect. The one to the left will take me down to the tree, so the, the one to the topmost one should take me where I want to go, right? I don't know. <laughs> I'm ready to get out of here. <laughs> this took up a whole episode. I'm really sorry, like, this is the one that I had to come back on from like a month's worth of hiatus, but, you know, sometimes when you're doing it blind, this is how you do it. You don't know what you're doing. You wander till you find something. And we did find stuff. We found a summon. We found an all materia. So I guess it wasn't a complete waste. Alright, we're wrapping it up here. Head up this way. Try to get to that ice bridge area. Hopefully it's not just a little transit. Or something. Alright, wait. Well, this is the hot springs, isn't it? Unless... This... Wait a sec. Oh, I think I see now. So, the hot springs aren't on top of the mountain. The hot springs are what this this road is. And... The mountain top up there, that's the, the diverging path. I was confused. I thought the hot springs were on top of the mountain, when really they're up... They're, they're to, the, to the west, to the northwest of it. Alright. So, if I keep following this path, it'll take me back to the ice fields, right? I want to confirm that. I want to see if that if that's what it is, and if that's all that this is, then I'm gonna jump to us at the uh, middle area because that that seems like that's all we have left. 
<laughs> I don't know, my patience is wearing thin. If there's something left to be found in this area that I don't find by the end of the video, I think I'll be hard pressed to come back here and get it. I'm pretty sure this is what we're dealing with. And yeah. Well, wait, what happened? My back? I think I just went back in to where I was. Wait, what's happening? I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to, in this case, I think I'm gonna off-screen again to us in the middle. Because that really seems like it's all we got. So yeah, I'll, I'll get my way out of this area one last time, and then we'll, I'll meet you there. Alright, I'm here. I'm at the ice lake. Or I'm at the, the lake with a cave. Oh, and I can walk across this! Alright, good. I saw this item over here. I guess it's just a potion. But, uh, I didn't know I could do this. So now I can go up here, which is what I, th I think I didn't do before. Could <laughs> could we finally be getting... Oh, wait, is, is the exit this way? Okay, yeah. Could we finally be getting close to be done with this ice area? I'm so ready for that. Oh, good. Um, the only way is to cross. That's the way it goes, alright. Face the direction you want to jump in, press the circle button. Alright, so this looks like a... A little mini game. I, I'm assuming we can only jump on the big things. Okay, so we just want to figure out a way to get across. This doesn't seem too hard. Get over here. Go up here. We're making our way further. Get on this. All right, so we can't do that. Wait. Oh no! I failed it. Oh, but okay. At least it'll just take me right back here. All right. So our final challenge get across this thing All right. so maybe we'll jump forward this time is that what we did last time I can't remember so I guess what you really want here I think I'm stuck back in the loop go back this way oh well no okay we can only go this way we can go here we can go here I guess what you want is to not be stuck alright so we shouldn't go there <laughs> alright this I kinda dig this unless I can collapse or something on it and go have to go back to the cabin again. That sucks. I will go here. You gotta remember that you don't necessarily have to step. Okay. It seems like. Uh, did we go up last time? Alright, we'll go down. Is this a loop? I think it's a loop. Alright, you don't want to get where it's isolated. Wait, hold on. There, there's there's like a there's like a physics almost to this. I think it's. Everything that's raised when you jump on it... Can I jump onto it? No, I can't. So everything that's raised around becomes unraised. So we want to... I think we want to go up. If we jump onto there, those two will unraise, and the one below it... Right? Yeah. So maybe we don't want to go up. Go left. Now we up. Now those two will go up. And if we now if we jump to that one, that'll go. So now we want to go up here. And hold on. So if I jump to the one above me, the one to the right will go down. The one up top will go up. But if I jump to that one, I could go left. But that would not be good. So maybe. If I go right, and I can circle back around, like, because this will make the one in the middle go. If I jump here, then everything is cleared, so I can jump down, and there, and there, and there, and there. All right, sweet, I did it. <laughs> I knew I, I knew it had to do with. Circling back around to reset some of the ones. Alright, so we're here now. What's our prize for being smart? <laughs> Crawl in the little cave. That's kind of cool. I love these little areas. I wonder who, like, was here. I guess just travelers. Alright, well, we got a sack. We got a safety bit. What could that be? I'm assuming it's an item. Maybe it's an armlet. That's what it sounds like. It's not an armlet. Is it an accessory? Yeah, it is. Alright. Protects against sudden death, petrify, and slow slash numb. 
That is... okay. But is not a ribbon better than that? It seems like it would be. So that's not that great. But whatever, we, we did it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say we're done here. I'm gonna close the book on Iceland because I really don't want to deal with it anymore. But uh, we got an item, we got a couple materia, and we fully explored this place. It's blind, what are you gonna do? Sometimes you just gotta figure things out. And that's what we did in this episode. So next time, I think I want to hit up Wutai, because there was something I, I wanted to try there. And maybe after that, we'll head back to the City of the Ancients and see if we can uh, figure out what Eris was planning. Till next time, guys, I'm at Snack Attack 8. See you then. Later. God damn.